Yo, what's going on? You doing all right today? What's going on? Man, you don't, you don't have to mute me, man. I know when to shut up. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. Welcome, everybody. This is the Man of the Metaverse podcast. I am Brandon. I'm here with Lewis. You got he got a couple rings on. You got a yeah, new I, ring? Yeah, I got to take, <laughs> take one back. Got some got a speck in the dime. Okay. So you, I was gonna ask you, do like black people do, you know, you'll buy it, you'll wear it a little bit, then you take it back to the store, get all your money back. Brandon, I do not do that. It's out of the ten diamonds in the ring, two of them got black specks in it. I, I can you. see with my naked eye at 36 you. inches away. I got you. And Most people paying good see money. It. And if you're paying good money for something, you want a good product. So I get it. So I told them if they just take some money off, I keep it. But I didn't know. I sit it back. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. And, and as a business, that's what you would want to hear anyway. You know, it's not it's not necessarily a pawn shop. So, you know, they want to make sure they got good. They're giving good customer service. They're giving good products. So I, I get it. Shit, I'd rather have a few hundred dollars off. I know. I know. Right. Right. Yeah. And not too many people can see that except for me. Right. Right. But it looks good. I like it. And they sized it up and it fits all it fits good and everything. I just got a standard size. I want it for my pinky. I don't know exactly my pinky size. Sometimes we change it. So I just got uh, a size 10. If I want to change it, I could change it in the future. Okay. I got you. And I, I posted something on our community wall. Me and my daughter went fishing today. Oh, know. great. Did you catch anything? We didn't catch anything. We didn't spend too much time out there. Um, we got out there maybe about, I guess, a couple of, let's say like three hours ago. And uh, we didn't stay long. She got tired because she was up all day and, you know, it was a long day. So she got the routine of throwing out there, waiting, trying to feel when it's nibbling and kind of jerking back. So that's kind of what I wanted her to do. I mean, she was in a hurry to catch fish, but it's been a long time since we've been out fishing. So, you know, fishing is a hunt. Go ahead. What kind of setup did she use? Well, just the two hook set up with a weight on the end, you know. Okay, a sinker. Did, so yeah, yeah, yeah. And it sits it, off the bottom, bottom right, rig. Right, right. And she, this is what she wanted. I was like, well, do you want to use one fishing rod or do you want your own? Of course, she said she want her own. So we went to Walmart because I needed to get a fishing license anyway. So we went to get my fishing license for the year. And um, long story short, short, I finally got it, but it took a lot. Of, and she wanted to get a fishing rod of her own. So she got one of the little kid ones, which we got in the past, but they don't really work that well. So I set it up for her to have a floater out there, like, you know, the bobble thing. So it'll sit uh-huh. on the top and we'll have one on the bottom. So we did that, you know, didn't. You should have got a, a, a ultra light rail. They small. Yeah. I was thinking, I'm like, look, you got to prove to me that you're ready to fish before no, I wait, spend no. some. I, but go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, ultra light rail from Walmart don't cost that much. How much the short ones? Yeah. Yeah. I, I saw one. They had one for Probably $30. $30? Yeah. It was $30. Mm, and how much like, your kid one cost? The, the one that she wanted to get, it was $10. So I was like, okay, okay well, show, well, well, show me well, you can yeah. work with it. Yeah. I was like, we'll, we'll do, the, do that, you know, for today. And if you really want to fish like that, I'll get you a real one later on. So we Man, did I was have fun. I said, Brandon got all that opportunity, fresh water and salt water. I know. I'm going to get out there more often. And like I said, I was going to go. Um, what was that? It was one day I was going to go, but I didn't end up going. But, you know, you have to get in the routine of getting up. And like I said, I wanted to get my fishing license, too. So now that I got my license, I can get out there more and do a lot of more stuff. But now, you just... don't know. Salt water, you don't know when those fish are going to be running. You're they right, may be running right. in the daytime, nighttime, right. anytime. Right, right. And, and that's what I was going to say. When do you like to go? Because for me, I, I think I catch more fish when it's kind of cool. Well, it's almost cold, but it's cool. When it's warmer, I, I seem not to have as much luck fishing. Well, early spring and early summer is probably, well, I don't know what kind of fish you're going. It's, it varies. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But as it get colder, fish ain't going to bite as much because it's a little colder. Yeah, I got you. So, but. I tell you this, I don't like going five o'clock in the morning no more. Why not? Why not? That's what I like to get. I get up early anyway. Okay, do that in no the boat. Why, why not? You just not. You just not. Because it, it does take a lot getting all your fishing stuff and getting out there, and you know it, it is a lot. And fishing, like I say, it's not the the most active or exciting thing. It's you know you just sitting out there, and it, especially if you're going in the morning. I mean, it might still be dark out there when you get out there. I used to do that in my younger 30s and 20s. I couldn't sleep at night. <laughs> Why? Because you was ready to get out there? Yeah, but now, mm-hmm. hell no. I, yeah. I went out there at like 6 o'clock. Mm-hmm. I catch the same amount of fish if I go out there at 6 o'clock, I go right. out there at 8 o'clock. Right, you're right. So <laughs> it's no need to jump up quick like that. And are you are you in a safe area when you go fishing? Like if you, if you did decide to get up early in the morning? All the time. Okay. All the time. Okay. Like, uh... The area, the unsafest area I went in, it was uh, the Navy Academy. They locked me in the gates, had to jump two fences to get out. I tell you about <laughs> oh, that. Oh, yeah, you told me about that. You're right. You, you and, showed me the pictures and everything, I think. Yeah, and, and from that day, my back started hurting. <laughs> <laughs> and it still hurt. Right, that's what I'm about to say. When you're our age, that pain don't really go away. It'll, it'll ease up a little bit, but it'll, it'll flare back up uh, later. 
Yeah. All right, Brad, let's get to the video you got going on. What?